Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Ultros where in theory the ship's network is turned back on or at least part of it and I have no idea what that means for our future prospects. Let's pick some fruit. Oh, I was trying to pick the fruit. You know, I'm only at the beginning of my understanding these wisps, my friend. I feel a connection, a sensation of something important, but I can't fully understand it yet. Uh, don't worry, Gardner will figure it out. Meanwhile... You see Gardner's tree. It wasn't always this magnificent. Yeah, okay, there were times you thought it had stopped growing. Yep. I'm with you. Okay. Thank you for the free yog yog. Okay, so... Uh, this much Musaka er, this early in the run is actually, like, fantastic news. Hold on. With the proper double jump here, I'm, I'm confident we can actually make it up there. There we go. Without having to go around the long way, which means we can probably make it up here, which is, this is an area we've not been able to get all the way up into before, right? Yeah. Uh, geez, what do you think here? I mean, an Oku Moomin is certainly not going to be very helpful. I wouldn't necessarily expect a Musishi to be useful either, though. What does the Gnopper do again? Well, if it turns out to be a bad play, we can always pull it out now, right? Which kind of plant do you make? Well, I mean, it's pretty. I don't know, just like hang down a little platform or something. It is still growing. It is, it is still actually filling in. All right, let me try. Okay, never mind. I don't need any help. We can just make the jump. Have we been up here before? I don't think so, actually. Okay ton of places to plant stuff. Ah. I suppose I should have tried being friendly with it. It's like, this isn't the one creature I know that can help us plant stuff, so... An Ubarba. Sensitive to contact, its tendrils then reach out to embrace whatever object stimulates it, resulting in rooting and inflorescence. The vine's strong sclerenchyma, sclerenchyma supports the lateral organs as they attach to other vine's tendrils or enclasps themselves. So lost? Okay, I don't... This is a new one. That also is a new one on me. Uh, this might be an, a Moomin, but I worry that the Moomin might not be enough. Maybe we plant this new plant here. I mean, they gave us the seed right here for a reason, right? So what does this thing do? Also, is there anything? No, there's not like anything else in there. Well, once it has some time to grow outward, maybe it'll, I don't know, maybe it'll contribute a little bit more. Let us explore what else is going on around here. Uh, in this case, in that case, I wonder if the Moomin is the right call. It would give us a little bit of height at least. 
And I don't know what else we would want to do here. So let's try that. Oh, except I don't actually even have one. I just have a Yod Yog and an Ogeus, which I don't. I don't see either one of those being all that useful there. Devodaru. This blue shimmering seed sprouts with a horizontal desire in its DNA and branches out like a seabird over the horizon. I can't believe how many different plants there are. Okay, well, let's try this here. If it creates like a branch out over this, this, this may in fact help us climb up here. Although it does seem to be branching out in the wrong horizontal. Okay, it's not sturdy enough to walk on it or anything. I wonder, is it directional? Like, did it grow that way because it wants to grow that way? Or did it grow that way because I laid it down? Let's try planting it from this side. Okay, yeah, it does. It matters which way you toss it into the... Into the dirt. Huh. Definitely behaves differently when it has room to grow upward. Doesn't actually provide any kind of traversal right away. You know what? That's fine, actually. So I don't think we're going to be able to get up here either. Planting a Moomin there wouldn't resolve the problem, I don't think. Yeah, no, this is just a, this is just a, a tough one, traversal-wise. Um... I kind of need more plants, honestly. I need more um, seeds. Can we get over there? Probably not, right? Ow. Ah, okay. This is that thing. I totally didn't realize. I didn't recognize the name, I guess. So not actually a useful plant to have around. Pretty much ever. Hmm. All right. Well, we're not going to be able to get up there. Oh, I didn't try going all the way up and to the right, did I? Actually. You know what? I think this plant might be helpful in this location. Because we know how it grows when there's a roof over it, right? So if we just plant it facing this way... Hopefully it'll reach through those vines, or the, the gears. Huh. It produces bubble fruit if you don't let it have enough height, or it might be, this might be a fertilized location or something. The bubble fruit has a slight saltiness to its taste due to high levels of potassium chloride. And then there's a joke about being salty. 
I'm a little disappointed to see that it grew like that instead of like that, like up and to the right, the way it grew in the other tunnel. We could replace it with a Yod Yog and see if the Yod Yog will just reach out far enough to crack this. I don't think that a. A Musashi might grow far enough to, to reach all the way around here. The one that shoots the red liquid probably will not it will not have enough liquid. It will not spray the liquid far enough. Huh. Well, that's interesting. You know, that's not the only time we've seen that symbol I feel like we've seen parts of it in other places I don't really know what it means though yeah that's pretty interesting all right if I am here where do I want to go next I can't quite make it up to there yet Maybe up here? Maybe? Maybe up here. We could try one of those two. So there's still sleepers up here, presumably ex accessed from there. Up here, which is, I mean, that's so far away. And down here, presumably accessed from here, um, the, the triple doorway, right? So I suppose we could go to any of those places. Hmm. Do I not know what's over here? Let's see about that. A random Musishi seed for some reason. Uh, friend. I have so much of this stuff. Oh, it's eating fruit from the. Okay. I don't want, I want it to just, I want to just like lay it down. Ah! He dropped it. Please be careful with it. It's delicious. There you go. Okay, great work. I'll make sure I get this other cackle in here. Oh. All right, we didn't have our double jump when we were over here last, so. It makes sense that there would be things ungathered. Compost map for the area, definitely useful. Huh. All right, let's see if we can get into the bit just above this as easily. Looks like a little house. Uh, well, it feels like this is a Moomin, right? I 
Actually, I guess I don't know if that's necessary. I was thinking, because that way you could climb over to here, but that, it turns out, is not even actually a ledge. Which means this, I don't know. I don't know if it matters what you put here. This goes to the Pantheon of the Stars. Hmm. Don't know what I might want to plant in those sideways things, but I know what we can do here. can't start flying in the air, sadly. So if I fly up and I touch these... Yeah, it seems to re-empower me during flight pretty effectively. Huh. Well, this is interesting. What do I throw up here? A Yod Yog? Like, Musishi's not going to do it. A Mushishi, rather. It's not going to do anything here. And a gear seed, I would think, is just gonna it's just gonna pour red liquid into the chamber below in a way that's not like super helpful. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, and those just don't get pulled until it would be useful. Until the until the plot tells us otherwise. Don't know what to do with that either. Okay, but actually this has provided some some reasonable utility and also river hearts. So we can't figure that out until we can remove the uh, the dark energy, which as far as I can tell is a thing that we have no control over. It's just like when it's time for that to happen in a very in an area, the plot will lead to it happening. I think. All right, getting to that platform underneath the ledge there is not necessarily trivial. Uh, let's select the Musaka. There we go. All I have is this Mushishi, which is probably yeah, not a super useful thing to plant in this situation. If we could go up, it would just take us up into a place we've already been. Not super useful. Yeah, okay. I think we may have reached the end of our utility in this area a little bit, but since we're close to the compost here, let's go ahead and dig it up. So you need to start the dig over here a little bit more. Oh, the next one was in the like in the floor right here. OK, 
can I get to you? Okay, this is a root system of a plant I planted. The place seems like this is more to be accessed from the bottom. Oh, this is not actually a thing I planted. This is a thing I don't I don't necessarily want to exist, actually. I wonder, I was getting through the soft roots. I wonder if I can pull it from here. I absolutely can. And then that means... With that thing's root system gone. Cool. Where will we use it? I have no idea. And then we've been all throughout the living quarters. Wish I had any idea how to open up access there. Uh, there's still this that I haven't managed to get up because I'm a fool. And I did a bad job here. Uh, I wonder if... With some compost, we could try out a lot of different plants in that location. I wonder if there is something we could, we could put down that would help us more than this thing we've got already. So that would require... Down and left and down and right. What would I want to plant here? I have no idea. Okay, is it this way? It is this way. I mean, first of all, obviously, let's take those. Yeah, all right, let's pull this up. I do feel like this is almost certainly wrong at this point. And the Musishi's probably wrong. The Stakati's definitely wrong. A Yod Yog's not going to do it. I, you know what I'd like to try here is like maybe an Ogeus? Because it might, if I can get the, the red liquid to spray on this upper wall, then it might form one of those little platforms right there. Oh, okay, or maybe I'll just get the hops right this time. Okay, I mean, mycelium is fine. It's not a super exciting reward at this point in the game, but... Okay, first of all, good to know. Secondly, good to have reclaimed a valuable seed. Is there anything else I want to do while I'm down here? Well, yeah, actually, I probably want to pull... We have the opportunity to pull a bunch of these, um, a bunch of these seeds, these staccati seeds, and we probably ought to do that. I don't even necessarily need them myself. I just. Need them not to be here. Oh, okay. Well, that compost is, I guess, off limits. So I drop down there. Yeah, that's fine. right over in the middle of all the garbage. Ooh, I actually did boost all the way through that. 
I was not expecting it to uh, to whiff like that. Alright, I think this dirt patch ate our compost, which is fine. In the end, it's that's okay, I think. Uh Yeah, no, that makes sense. We're, like, very far away from it at this point. I was just wondering if I could grab it through the floor there. Give me that. All right. Oh, hey, gardener. What a strange thing to have happened. <laughs> Hello, my friend. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I saw you go down here, and you didn't come back out, so I thought you might need some help, Mya. As you can see, my wispy friends can dissolve these dark barriers. Gardener to the rescue. Okay, your wispy friends are, in fact, to the rescue. There's some more dark barriers around here if you want to maybe, maybe do some more of this kind of work. Gardner does not actually take this screen transition. It just looks like he's going to. That's weird. Well, will he have... Dissolved the darkness anywhere else, I wonder? My elders always said, Work the land, but never wound it, lest we invite disaster. Surely that's also true for the sarcophagus. So he talks about the feeling of connection now that we've got the network back up i guess it didn't really occur to me before but i wonder if the gardener is you know like really part of the ship's systems okay what do these say now that we're turned on nope not all of them not all of them have been turned into anything at all All right, so we got that. Okay, we can just walk over here now. Where we will take invisible silent damage. We pulled all of the uh, the bright pink squares right out of that terrain. So no root system should make it pretty easy to find the compost down here. Provided that I am capable of doing that. So it feels like it's it's over here somewhere. I really love the art for the, the areas inside the terrain. I think a lot of developers, a lot of a lot of people making this kind of thing would have um, been less ambitious with, with what it looks like inside of the terrain. Well shoot, I don't know where this thing is. Right? It's like yeah, it feels like it should be... Oops. Should be, like, directly down from here, but also... Oh, yeah, okay. I was just missing it last time. Cool. While we're here, we as well help ourselves to some more fruit. What's up, Gardner? Maybe it's time for Gardner to tidy this place up, Mya. Hmm, looking at it from here, 
I'm not sure this plant was the right choice. Okay, gardener, all right. Plant seems like a fine choice to me, dude. But I think he was saying that before when we were here as well, right? Before we put the the movement in place and this just his dialogue doesn't change. All right. Well, that being the case, then Staccati, not a thing I'm actually interested in having. We could build a great a great big yog yog here, although I don't know to what degree I think that's actually a useful thing to do. And then There's not much here to do except go to the living quarters. I guess there's for whatever reason, there's a floor there that indicates there might be room below. But it's hard to imagine that room below mattering very much considering how small it would have to be. Oh no, it's not a room below, it's just a drop through. You can see there's a break in the in the uh, ceiling down there. So okay, that just lets us through into that area. Which is not particularly useful at the moment. Well, maybe what we want to do is head over to the right now. There are definitely some places still that we've never been to. And there's this. We do now have the ability to traverse large vertical spaces at least some of the time. So yeah, maybe that's maybe that's the thing. Maybe we just go across the top here and see what's see what's what on the eastern side of the ship. You know, for whatever whatever definition of eastern uh, has any value at all in outer space. I suppose I ought to refill my health at the very least. We have a couple of my ceiling we can drop in. I don't know what all I want to take. Probably this, right? Just I feel pretty naked without it. Maybe Himsa assault as well. That gives us some some decent offensive capability right at the beginning of uh, of any given section, any given cycle rather. This is so much fruit. Uh, I want to go up to here. Now, see this being bright green now definitely makes me. Wonder if maybe that's not correct. Well, I kind of want to go here anyway. Uh, so it's the best way, like, left and up, maybe? Let's see about that. Okay. Just a beautiful place where a mycelium was growing. Let's, uh... Nope, uh, this thing, y'all seem to really like these. No, don't just eat in front of him. There we go. Share, be kind. The throw button is just long press on the eat button. I feel like I was almost tall enough for that. Ah. This might be one of those cases where we're supposed to wait for our uh, wait for our new friend to generate some new soil. Ooh, I actually hit it that time. Be 
super cool if I could get this. Okay. I don't actually go up when I do the up kick, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, I'm not sure I can make that. But if we feed the, the what's his name? I forget what those little critters are called already. If we feed that thing and then it produces a um, a plot of soil for us, I can I can work with that. Ah, okay. I was really expecting the the, the catch on there. Okay, so those things. This this symbol is the. Um, is the awaiting connection, robots? No, wait. Get up there. There we go. That seems important. Shall we touch it? Okay, touching it does nothing. I still maintain that it seems important. All right, so if we step through into here, we're gonna get a room with a tall opening and all of this stuff. Does this charge the thruster? It sure does. I mean, it basically had to, right? Otherwise, I don't know what we would have done. Interesting. So it doesn't want to take me above... Like, I guess that's the... That's the artificial ceiling in the area. Okay, there's something on the right side. Okay, we got there. It was a little clumsy, but... This is for sure new, and I'm not super pleased about it. Okay, I'm going to feed this some compost. Because I am curious what will happen. What happens when this plant goes up to its next stage? So it like grows out a bush head. It's hanging down, but it's not doing anything. Hmm. Okay, I guess the weight of the water is too much. Yeah, it really is, like, it really is bearing me down quite viciously. Okay, there we go. Is that going to be all we get for doing that? I think so, actually. All right, well, there's another something going on below us, but I don't know how to access it. That wall breaks, but it's a one-way break. Can't hop down through here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any reason to want to go up there. So I guess I don't. I certainly don't want to be in these hallways. This seems like a miserable time. So we kind of can't access this area until I figure out some way of dealing with those pretty serious currents. We can't get through the top of the room to our left either. It would seem because of very serious currents. This one sure looks like a dead end, too. Like, the way you're supposed to get through is down below.
Yeah, but I can't. I can't drop down through that floor. I can't destroy anything. I guess all we can really do is just go somewhere else. trying to get up enough momentum to be able to just like pierce the uh yeah to be able to pierce the block but it seems like that is not in fact in the cards there is no getting past that invisible barrier well i tried ow All right, that enemy is a pain in the ass. So I've broken this before, it looks like. Or at least I know what's on the other side of it, which is, you know, pretty good tell. Why am I so bad at getting up this wall? Those are those surfaces that you can run up. Oh, maybe not. I mean, I should be able to... I would think, at the very least, wall jump, like, very slowly up the chamber. I am getting better at this. Okay, a new Barbo, which I still don't really know what to do with. Okay, we don't actually get to come onto this screen very much, but I wonder if I flung myself upward and then tacked to the side. I'm trying to like grab the ledge. Yeah, okay. That worked. We're getting somewhere, kind of. Actually, it's kind of looking like maybe we aren't. I don't think we can make any forward progress from here. All right, well, let's go this way instead. What do I want to do with... What do I want to do with that? Uh, Mushishi will play... Our Mushishi will plant... Uh, will hang down the wall and maybe interfere with that bladed destroyer thing that's right there? That'd be awfully handy. I don't think a Yod Yog's going to accomplish anything. Yeah, let's try this. Nah, I was hoping it would bust that up the way it, uh, the way it busts up gears and stuff. Free mushy berries, that's cool at least. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to just get in the water here and work some stuff out. It's not clear to me why I'm doing this. Ow. Huh. Yeah, I can't interact with this thing. It's just... Maybe I need uh, a particular mode for my extractor. We don't have an interacts with machines mode, but... Uh, 
Uh, come on. There we go. So this is a dead end too. Until we learn how to deal with these, this is a dead end. Well, it's pretty not ideal. It might be the case that all we have to do is adjust the planting that we're doing around there. Maybe there's something we could have planted that would give us... It's weird. Yeah, maybe there's some kind of planting we could do in there that would interfere with the gear machines to some degree. So the refinery is of no use, but at the bottom right of this room, there is marked a promise unfulfilled. Am I better off just, I'm probably better off just removing this, right? And instead, let's plant the other Musishi. Musishi, I don't know why I, in my head, those are two different syllables. Because this will grow vines down the wall pretty quickly. Hopefully it'll pop the gears out of place. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. Secret Yod Yog. Less than secret Mushishi. And a pretty tall chamber with some interesting stuff in the middle. So yeah, it's like under here. Ooh, I don't know how you would do that. I mean, obviously we could... We could set up some plants down here. You know, moomins or whatever. Could I climb up with this? Well, I could probably do some climbing up with this. Like the Agia seed might give me a ledge to grab onto. Let's let's try that. If it creates one of those little ledges right here, that'd be pretty perfect. Uh, it it has not done that. It's doing quite a different thing. All right, I'm pretty proud of that regardless, but this does not seem uh, useful. What? <laughs> Give me back my plant. All right, what if we do a gear seed here? Nope, it's not going to shoot anywhere near far enough to the left to, uh, to cause a build over this. I don't know if there's a combination of plants that I'm familiar with that we could use to overcome this. We've seen a couple of new plants so far this run that definitely say things like, you know, they care about the other plants and the, the, the construction of other plants nearby will affect them, but who knows exactly how and also... I don't have any of those seeds on me anymore anyway. What happens if I put this here?
Not a ton, it feels like. Alright, let's get rid of this. This is not doing anybody any good. What if I just go for, like, the most standard Moomin here? Alright, I am willing to spend compost ex uh, ex what's the word I want here? Improving, you know. I had a word in my head, and now I've totally lost it. Improving the growth prospects of this plant, but not enough to get it to produce the platform. That's interesting. Uh, what if I go again? Huh. I made a noise like it was going to do something, and then it extremely did not do anything. Alright, well, I have one more. Let's see what happens if I throw it... Hmm. <clears throat> there we go. So yeah, that thing will grow out like that, which doesn't really seem to do very much for us. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about the utility of either of these placements. I think these are not helpful. Neither one of them is certainly helping us get up top in any way. I wonder if I. Ah, almost. I'm not convinced that being up here would be enough to. Uh... Let me up onto the platform to my upper left anyway. This area might just be kind of worthless for the moment. And then it improves for us from our perspective later once we know something that we don't know now, I guess. All right, let's try to find, jeez. I guess there's a Cortex machine not too, too far away up here. Yeah, we've, we've hit a bunch of dead ends here. I'm finding like actually pretty disheartening. I felt like we had a lot of options open to us at the beginning of the episode. And now I'm just getting my ass kicked by this guy. Okay, the cortex I was looking for is in here. <sighs> yeah, we've run into a number of situations here where, like, I feel like I almost know what to do. Where It, it is obvious that there is a plant puzzle, but I don't... I don't know. It is possible that we could get the plants to interact with each other in some way, right? One of them does mention like tangling up in the uh, in the output of another plant. I just need to find the right combination. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I think that's where we're gonna call it for today. Didn't get a whole lot accomplished here except for like exploration and finding compost, which I then used in ways that are not necessarily the most valuable. Um, but now we know a whole bunch of things that don't work. So when you come back next time, we can just find our way into a new thing that we can actually access. And we'll see you then.